Hey guys, Boiji here. In this video, we're going to recreate uh, this uh, website page uh, from uh, a UI kit which I recently discovered on UI8, uh, which is called uh, Coca. And uh, it's uh, really nicely done, in my opinion. Uh, I love the gradients and the feeling overall. So, without further ado, let's uh, get started with uh, the actual tutorial. So, we're going to open up uh, this uh, new Figma file, and uh, as the very first thing, uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we're actually going to create a desktop frame such as this one right here 40 40 pixel uh, that should be more than enough and uh, the very next thing that we're gonna do is uh, we are going to start recreating uh, the actual logo so we're going to select the ellipse from the top menu and by holding shift uh, we're going to create uh, this uh, perfect uh, uh, circle shape and uh, also we are going to add a text layer just above this which is going to contain the main letter let's increase the size and uh, in this particular you like it uh, what they're using uh, is uh, this uh, font right here which uh, is dm sans so we're going to use uh, exactly that same font let's go over here dm sans and uh, let's uh, increase uh, the size of uh, this uh, circle and let's make it bold now at this point uh, since it's a logo we're going to also use the outline stroke in order to make uh, this whole uh, appearance look more cleaner let's increase uh, the size of this letter and uh, as the very next thing we're going to use a linear gradient which, is which we're going to bring uh, almost uh, at a 45 degree angle and we're going to add uh, both uh, a blue color and uh, a slightly more um, so a lighter tint of blue so going more towards a, a baby blue and uh, this should uh, do the job now the C is going to be white so that we can replicate the original logo and uh, we're going to write uh, here the actual name and uh, let's just bring it here above it doesn't need to be perfect uh, but uh, we should try and uh, attempt to get uh, as close uh, as we can to the original now at this point we have uh, the basic logo so we're going to group it using command g and uh, we're going to select uh, all of this uh, and uh, add a layout grid and specifically uh, we're going to add 12 columns and the reason why we're doing this is uh, to make it uh, uh, easier to structure this uh, document correctly we're also going to add a little bit of margin on the sides uh, so that it's easier to kind of have some uh, some briefing room already and let's resize the logo just a little bit since it was a little bit too big uh, for my taste now at this point uh, with uh, the layout grid uh, we're actually going to make it a little bit uh, lighter so that it doesn't interfere too much with the design it's uh, it's never good to have a, a layout grid which is too prominent so that's something that uh, i want to tackle ahead and now let's write uh, sign in since uh, this is going to be the text for the main button that we're going to have at the very top Let's also add a rectangle here on the top section and we're going to bring the layer just below the sign in text and let's round it up all the way let's select this and we're going to use the same blue color we give it 10 percent opacity so it doesn't take too much visual emphasis and at this point uh, I think we're pretty much sorted out when it comes to the main uh, button and uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to select uh, Nucleo icons in order to basically uh, have uh, uh, all sorts of different icons which we can easily like drag and drop so let's uh, use a hamburger icon hamburger menu the infamous one and uh, let's uh, go with uh, this one right here and let's select it let's increase uh, the size just a little bit and uh, we're going to select also 
these vectors inside of it, make them just a little bit smaller. This is just like a, an extra, so it's an optional step. So overall, I think uh, we are going uh, in the right direction. At this point, we need to create uh, the main header of uh, the website. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, let's add uh, this uh, text, uh, which uh, I'm seeing uh, over here. Actually, let's not cheat uh, and let's uh, just get the text, uh, the text style. Text style, we're going to edit uh, ourselves and uh, we're going to go with this uh, purple color, which is uh, quite similar to the original. Now let's duplicate this text using shift and option alt key. And uh, at this point, what we're gonna do is we're going to make this uh, uh, completely uh, dark and uh, we are going to copy and paste the text if uh, I can still copy between files yeah for some reason it's not doing it so we're going to do it the old fashioned way just type it in it's not too much so not a big deal and here we go, let's center all of this, center it uh, one more time and uh, we're going to increase uh, the size uh, considerably of uh, this uh, text. Alright, so we have uh, our H1, let's uh, give it a little bit less of a letter spacing uh, in between uh, so that it's uh, just looking better overall, a little bit more, more tight. And uh, now we're going to recreate uh, this very interesting part, which is the text, uh, which is going around uh, in a circle. And I'm going to copy and paste it just for reference, but I'm going to teach you guys exactly how to do it because uh, it's actually not, uh, not that hard in Figma. So the very first thing is uh, you select uh, a ellipse and then uh, after that uh, you select uh, a text and uh, if uh, the memory doesn't uh, um, so basically I'm, I'm quite sure and there was like a, an anchor point I think I'm getting uh, mistaken with the illustrator files so I'm actually going to go after this uh, after the tutorial um, because uh, I've done this uh, a bunch of times uh, it's just uh, whenever I'm doing this live uh, it's not working so for the time being uh, uh, we're just going to do this uh, uh, with uh, the copy and paste method but uh, a tutorial on this is coming up soon so we're not giving up we're just losing the battle but not the war so we're going to copy the image over here and uh, let's center it and by the way if anybody knows uh, how to pull this off in Figma the text in the circle feel free to, do, to leave it in the comment uh, feel free to call, call me out on this <laughs> and uh, yeah we'll make it happen so we have our image and uh, the very next thing we're gonna do is we're going to increase uh, the um, height of uh, this frame now the wrong way to do it is uh, you select all the frame you don't press anything and uh, you basically uh, move it along sometimes uh, all the layers will uh, will basically stretch uh, vertically. Uh, in this case, not uh, because we don't really have uh, anything uh, uh, going and stretching. But if you ever encounter that issue, simply select Command, keep it pressed, uh, and move uh, the frame down, uh, and uh, it should all resize without uh, losing uh, um, any positioning. So just something to keep in mind. So we're going to add this uh, right here. We're also going to add uh, these uh, two elements, which uh, are complementary to the photo itself. Let's increase the size just a bit. And uh, at this point, we can also recreate this uh, section right here, which uh, is uh, going to be part uh, of uh, the introductory introductory part of the page. So let's uh, bring this one here, left align, and uh, let's uh, increase the 
Let's just duplicate this. Okay, that'll do. And let's uh, make this uh, smaller overall. And uh, here we go. All right, at this point, uh, we're going to duplicate this Shift Option Alt key. And uh, let's make uh, this text a little bit smaller. And we're going to basically copy and paste uh, this text. If the copy and paste feature is still working. No idea why this. Okay. So we got we got this. Let's bring it on the right. And uh, going to copy also this image. And uh, by the way, if you're looking to improve uh, your UI design skills or your design skills in general, feel free to have a look at the recent plan which uh, I created where I'm basically leaving uh, all of my design courses which I created over the past years, uh, which were valued at over $1,000. And uh, I'm just giving them all away for nine bucks. Uh, so it's uh, all going to be there uh, all the design theory, theory, all the design software knowledge, uh, and uh, even how, how I find uh, and uh, close uh, high paying design clients. So if you're interested in leveling up uh, your design skills, feel free to have a look. And uh, for this tutorial, we're pretty much uh, set uh, and done. Hope uh, this uh, was helpful. Uh, if it was helpful, feel free to leave a comment in the link in the description. I would be highly much appreciated and I'll see you in the very next video.